Following recent news around XRP and its parent company Ripple, the coin will soon make a swift comeback to the 80 cents Fibonacci retracement from December 2020 to April 2021. As we draw closer to what looks like a possible settlement in the SEC lawsuit, we should expect an influx of more and more investors, institutional investors, into joining the XRP train. The whales are soon going to come knocking, buying into this crypto, and that would be the first catalyst to see the price of this coin reaching greater heights. More and more investors are coming, and as more and more whales get involved with this digital asset, the value increases thus. XRP is doing great from all indications, given it has grown significantly despite all the odds, almost outperforming every other cryptocurrency out on the market during the last bull run that had Bitcoin reaching $60,000. With XRP's price tagging a 78.6 Fibonacci retracement levels of the December 2020-April 2021 advancement, a daily relative strength index with all the markings of an oversold reading that is similar to the lows from December 2020, and the March 2021 lows, we could see the 50-week simple moving average in play and has served as support on different occasions. Currently trading around the 60 cents margin, the big question is, will XRP make a comeback to 80 cents within the next 24, 48, or 72 hours? If this is your first time on the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. Don't forget, you can join our free Discord group via the link in the description for daily signals and a community of like-minded traders and investors. And now, you can also support us on Patreon. We have several packages you can choose from according to your particular investment goals, and we have a special offer for our first 100 members, only $9.99 for VIP access on Discord, which gives you exclusive benefits far beyond the free features. Be sure to check out the links in the video description and in the pinned comment. We also have a special discount offer on Binance. You'll get 5% off every trade you make if you sign up with our promo link in the description. During the early hours of Wednesday, XRP's price was steady after recovering from its lower low of 50 cents from the previous session. And continuing, the sturdy new support zone is nothing other than an indication that the bulls are about to rid the bears of the market. As the buying horizon widens, the more precise the assumptions that pop up. The crypto market crash back in mid-May cost XRP's price, dipping its value to around one-third of its previous price. A decrease that sent XRP's price far below its all-time high from about a month away from that time in mid-April, afterward creating a ripple effect of a considerably long bearish trend for XRP. And as uncertainty spread across the entire asset class, this has hampered XRP from holding a support level above the $1 margin. In the case of the lawsuit filed by the SEC dragging on further, and as the discovery date is prolonged even further, we might be seeing a settlement date between the first or second quarter of next year. And I know that this litigation seems like it's taking forever, according to attorney Jeremy Hogan, in one of his many funny remarks, don't worry, it won't last until 2050. Urging on further, the celebrity attorney, who's a fan of XRP, as he has proven that time and time again, went on to say that delay in this litigation poses an existential threat to Ripple's business in the United States. Existential seems a little dramatic. Or I hope so, because I don't see any reason why the SEC is going to be in any rush on this case. The more time goes by, the better the SEC settlement position, because the more pain for Ripple. Jeremy Hogan says he sees it every day in his firm, as most of his clients are fighting large insurance companies, and there's nothing they like better than to kill their clients with time. It's a very common tactic, and believe it or not, this case, even with a 60-day delay, is moving fast for a case this size. Jeremy Hogan goes on to show us a scheduling order he received on a new case that he just filed. And looking at the discovery cutoff, it's 450 days from now. That's a year and three months to finish discovery. So even with the 60-day extension, the judge is keeping the discovery in the Ripple case a much, much more complex issue to under 10 months. And he says 10 months to close discovery in a case like this is actually pretty fast. As the discovery date extends further, so does the discovery process of determining the XRP token price within the marketplace, which gets affected. And through the interaction of buyers and sellers, this is made possible. With the extension of the litigation's discovery phase, no new fundamental driver that could rival the lawsuit's market marking position to see us into a more current price exists within sight in the near term. Hence, much of the focus is placed on the market sentiment towards cryptocurrencies in general. This digital asset class remains under pressure over regulatory uncertainties and China's recent crackdown on crypto-related activities within the country. The price metric for XRP, the key levels to watch out for, places us at a position where the predominant technical indicator and the moving averages still suggest a bearish bias. Nonetheless, the momentum indicator signals a bullish bias, allowing us to hope for the buy actions. 
On that note, we need to keep an eye on the immediate support level at 67 cents to see if the bulls can take control of the market. If the buyers can bring the price past this point, we may see XRP testing a pivot point at 80 cents if the buying interest builds up. After the predominant trend line had broken out of its trend channel and we see a retest of the support zone, we also saw a volatile absorption of the token by bullish XRP holders, who might likely step out of the market if the market continues on a bearish trend. As of right now, the resistance level is holding firm, and if Bitcoin breaks below the $30,000 range, expect to see a bearish trend for the altcoins as well. The previous rejection of the X demand zone technically indicates that it's worth giving it a try, but we just have to wait and see how that plays out. And when we look through all of this with the XRP price chart back in December and January, where we had our big crash, you could agree with me why I had hinted that the bottom was already in. From our previous videos, we looked at a particular crashing structure brewing on the horizon. If you're talking about longevity, sustainability, scalability, and affordability, XRP is an excellent coin for long-term investments, and not for anyone short-sighted. Anyone who's here for the short term would likely make a few bucks, but rest assured that such a person would not make a lot of money. Which begs the question, why collect crumbs when you can make a lot more? It all boils down to having a blend of patience, perseverance, and a little bit of intuition. However, for people like me who are in it for the long term, we will enjoy substantial profits when the coin rises. Again, patience is the key, especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies. In the interview between Tony from Thinking Crypto and Ripple's CTO, during which the host of one of the largest crypto shows on all of YouTube cited an example of a central bank's Federal Reserve sidechain on the private XRP ledger, and asked about how soon the XRP coin would be used as the bridge currency for money movement between the Federal Reserve Banks of the world, the CTO of Ripple, David Schwartz, answered by saying, well, obviously nobody can force either of those entities to do anything that they don't want to do. I'd love to say, oh, they're going to have to use XRP as an alternative, but the other lesson that I've learned being in this business for decades is that you can't force your customers to do the things that you want them to do because you won't have any customers. Looking at the current daily trend line, represented by the black trend line on this chart, sitting right above the penultimate support to the 70 cents daily support is the 69 cents support margin, represented by the orange colored trend line. Once again, if this trend line breaks and plunges under, then we should expect a dip to the 50 cents margin yet again. And as the XRP USD pair hovers around the 70 to 80 cents range shortly after the present daily trend line, represented by a black line, broke before this steep fall in XRP's price. Although the cost of XRP has managed to maintain its support well above 50 cents, it's looking to regain its momentum while heading to newer price discoveries, between the margins of 70 to 80 cents. At this pace, I'm sure none of you guys would be surprised to see the price of XRP hit $10, above $50, or even $100 by the end of the year. Looking at all of the indications, the signs, and these expert predictions for the market cycle, we anticipate that the price of XRP is going to be substantially higher. We expect to see this coin's price get to a double-digit value by the end of the year. And then even if we do pull back, I believe it's not going to matter, as I think we'll enter a new era of price discovery, and maybe reach well over $50 for a single XRP coin. Thank you for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications. And if you have any questions or comments, let us know. And now you can also support us on Patreon and join our free Discord group via the links in the description. Be sure to check out some of our previous videos and we'll see you next time.